Highgarden is undoubtedly one of the most beautiful and spectacular castles in Westeros. However, in Game of Thrones, they didn't really do it justice. So let's dive into the full history of what Highgarden really looks like and how it came to be. Highgarden is located on a huge hill overlooking the Mander. The castle is surrounded by three rings of white stone, and the walls increase in height as you go closer to the middle. Between the outer and middle walls, there's a famous labyrinth which serves to entertain as well as slow invaders. The oldest towers, squat and square, date from the Age of Heroes, and newer towers are tall and slender. The castle sept, which has rows of stained glass, honoring Garth Greenhand, is matched only by the Great Sept of Baelor and the Starry Sept. There's the castle's godswoods that contain three werewoods known as the Three Singers, and the keep is decorated with statues and more beautiful decorations. Also within the walls are groves, fountains, and courtyards. The castle structures are covered in ivy, grapes, and climbing roses, so it's very beautiful as well as very structurally sound so the history of House Gardener. Highgarden is said to have been built by Garth the Gardener atop the hill overlooking the Mander. Highgarden was the center of the Reach, and the kings of the Reach from House Gardener grew to acquire what has become the entire Reach. During the Andal invasion of Westeros, King Murren II Gardener built a curtain wall about the castle. The Andals were ultimately welcomed into the Reach, and King Garth, the fifth built the first sept at Highgarden, although he continued to worship it in the Godswoods. Highgarden was then sacked by Dornishmen during the reign of King, Gardner, uh, King Garth. The sixth and the gardener's oaken seat was destroyed. The castle was then rebuilt. Highgarden was the seat of House Gardener until Aegon the Conqueror defeated King Myrn, the sixth, and his host on the Field of Fire, ending their line during Aegon's conquest. When Aegon then marched his host to Highgarden, its steward Harlan Tyrell surrendered the castle without a fight. For, for this, Aegon granted him the castle and gave House Tyrell dominion over the Reach as the Lord Paramount of the Mander. However, other houses such as the Florence, Rowans, and Olcarts also claim blood ties to the uh, gardeners and covet Highgarden. Aegon visited Highgarden during many of his royal progresses. When Aegon died in 37 AC, his eldest son flew from Highgarden, which he had been visiting as part of his progress, to Dragonstone to be crowned King Aenys I Targaryen. After his coronation in Old Town, the court of King Jaehaerys I stopped at Highgarden while returning to King's Landing. In his youth, Septon Barth served as Highgarden or served at Highgarden before coming to court. After the passing of of High Lickspittle, Jaehaerys and Queen Alysanne stopped at Highgarden while flying to Old Town. During the Dance of the Dragons, after the passing of King Viserys, the Green Council sent ravens to Highgarden asking for House Tyrell to support King Aegon II. Many lords of the Reach declared for Rhaenyra, however, and the regents for young lord Lionel Ty Tyrell decided that Highgarden should not take any part in the Dance of the Dragons. Because the Tyrells were neutral, Alf White declared after the First Battle of Tumbleton that they should be attained as traitors and that he should receive Highgarden. And if you don't want any spoilers, stop listening now. Okay, so he was poisoned after uh, the Battle of Second Tumbleton. Highgarden was slow to answer Aegon II after his restoration to the Iron Throne, and young Lord Lionel Hightower wanted to support Aegon but he was dissuaded from doing so by the Tyrells. Lord Hightower's younger brother, Garmund Hightower, was a page and companion to Lord Tyrell at Highgarden. Later in Highgarden's history, uh, well Squire to Ariana Pennytree, Sir Duncan the Tall, once served at Highgarden, where he met Leo Longthorn. Samuel Tarley saw Highgarden with his father, Lord Randall Tarley. Uh, he visited Loris Mace Tyrell, uh, before the events of Game of Thrones. And of course, in Game of Thrones, we see uh, Marjorie Tyrell, Olena Tyrell, Mace Tyrell. Um, we see all of them. And 
unfortunately, the, the only bad thing about Game of Thrones is when we see Highgarden later on in the show, they don't really do it justice. They don't make it look as beautiful or as ginormous as it should be or really portray how hard the castle is to take. So I hope you enjoyed this brief and complete history of Highgarden. It's, to me, one of the coolest castles just because of its beauty and because of how hard it is to attack or to take and how well defended it is. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day.